Greetings! How do you do? The person you see on your screen right now is very delighted to see you again through this video. I hope you are taking good care of your mind, soul and body. You are in time for this wonderful session. Or maybe you are on time for this wonderful session. Which one is right? In time or on time? Let us see the difference between in time and on time. You can make use of in time when you are before the given time. When you are exactly at the given time, you have to make use of on time. For instance, the beginning time of the school is 9 o'clock. If you reach the school at 8.55, you are before the distant time. So you are in time for the school. If you reach the school exactly at 9 o'clock, you are on time to the school. That is the difference between in time and on time. Let us learn something new about William Shakespeare. What does the illustrious father of English drama have to do with this video? Let us see. Before that, what is the meaning of the word illustrious? Illustrious means well known or respected for past achievements. Moving on, Shakespeare was not only known for his flamboyance in writing, but also for his remarkable plays. Shakespeare had contributed a lot to English language, especially to the vocabulary of English language. He has created 1700 words in English and he has made them popular through his well-known plays. Shakespeare has also made use of idiomatic expressions in his plays. Idioms such as in a full circle, a foregone conclusion, an apple of one's eye, one-eyed green monster are some of the idioms from his plays. Now what is an idiom? Why should I use an idiom? Are these questions coming up in your mind? Let me answer those questions. What is an idiom? Idiom is an expression in which the words do not convey its literal meaning. They have a hidden meaning. For instance, out of the woods is an idiom. Woods refers to forest. In which case, out of the woods means out of the forest, literally. But the hidden meaning of this idiom is that out of the woods means out of trouble. So when you say, I am out of the woods finally, which means you are not out of the jungle, you are out of the trouble. Let's move on friends. Why should I use idioms? This fact will give you an answer for that. There are 25,000 idioms in English language. So when you speak with someone, you are definitely going to listen to some of the idioms. So to know what the person is talking to you, you should know idioms and practice them. Idioms also make your language stylish. So make use of idioms as I am going to do now. I am going to sprinkle some idioms in my story right now. You have to listen to that story and identify the places of those idioms. You have to identify those idioms. Once that is done, I will give you the meanings for those idioms. After that, you can go back to the story and check it again so that you can understand the story in a better way. Are you ready for the story, my dear friends? This is a story about a boy and a girl who were siblings. Their names were Deepak and Divya. Deepak and Divya were not born with a silver spoon. In fact, they lived a life of poverty. Their house was a sorry sight with things thrown here and there. Their father was a servant to a big shot. Their mother had already kicked the bucket when they were babies. So the responsibility of looking after Divya fell on Deepak's shoulders. Divya was the apple of Deepak's eye. Deepak took good care of his sister. Deepak and Divya went to a school which was a 15 minutes walk away from their house. There was a hard and fast rule in the school. Whoever came late had to kneel down on the ground under the scorching sun for an hour. Deepak could endure that punishment but Divya could not. So Deepak ensured that Divya reached the school on time every day. Deepak was a 6th grader. Divya was a 3rd grader. Deepak was a brain box in his class, but all his classmates treated him as a laughing stock. 
On the other hand, Divya was a cut above the rest in her class. When it came to academics, Divya was the cream of the crop. On a red letter day, Deepak and Divya woke up late. They had three pieces of bread for breakfast. Deepak gave the lion's share of bread to Divya. Deepak realized that if they did not reach school on time, they would be in a pickle. They had to race against time to reach school. When they came out of the house, it started raining cats and dogs. Deepak caught Divya's hand and started running. They ran all the way until they reached a crossroad. They had to cross the road to reach the school. The road was busy with bustling buses and cars traveling at a high speed. There was an old man standing next to Divya. Divya, out of the blue, dropped her bag, let go of Deepak's clutches and caught the hand of the old man. She helped him cross the road. After crossing the road, she turned back to see Deepak freaking out. Deepak had a short fuse. He yelled at Divya for not taking her bag. Divya started running to Deepak's side. At that time, there was a red light on the traffic signal and she was running on the zebra crossing. But a car which came fast hit Divya. Divya was thrown two feet in the air. She fell down. Her feet started bleeding. She started crying. Deepak carried Divya's bag and rushed to her side. He caught Divya's hand and dragged her to the other side of the road. Adding fuel to fire, he slapped her and took her to school. The teachers in the school gave first aid to Divya. Now, whose fault was it? Was it the fault of the man who drove the car, even though the red light was on? Was it the fault of Deepak's anger, which made Divya run? Was the generosity of Divya at fault here? I leave it up to you, my dear friends. I hope you enjoyed the story. Let us see the idioms which I have used in the story one by one. Let's start with a sorry sight. A sorry sight refers to someone or something which has a piteous or ugly appearance. If you are tired, if you are exhausted, sweating all over you, you may look like a sorry sight. Moving on to the second one, a big shot. I'm not talking about a cricket shot or punching someone. I'm talking about an important or an influential person. For instance, Sachin Tendulkar is a big shot in Indian cricket. Moving on to the third idiom, kick the bucket. It is not like going to a washroom and kicking the bucket there. Kick the bucket refers to die. If someone died, you can say he kicked the bucket last month. That is an example for the idiom kick the bucket. Moving on to the fourth one, we have hard and fast. Hard and fast is an idiom which refers to a rule that cannot be changed or broken by someone. It has to be followed without fail. For example, closing your mouth while coughing is a hard and fast rule nowadays. Moving on to the next one, we have laughing stock. A person who is made fun of by others who is always teased or ridiculed by everyone. That is laughing stock. For example, Harish is the laughing stock of our class. Moving on to the sixth one on our list, we have raining cats and dogs. You go out of the house, all of a sudden cats and dogs fell on you. No, that is not raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs refers to a heavy rain, a downpour. If it rains heavily, you can say it is raining cats and dogs outside. Make sure you take umbrella when you go out. Moving on, we have in a pickle. I'm not talking about sitting in a pickle job. In a pickle means in trouble. If my mother found out I had broken her mirror, I would be in a pickle. Next on the list is cream of the crop. Cream of the crop is the best. 
For instance, Virat Kohli is the cream of the crop of Indian cricket team now. Then we have cut about the rest. What is cut about the rest? A good quality which is better than the others. For example, Sherlock Holmes is a cut above the other detectives when it comes to detection. Finally, we have a red letter day. What is a red letter day? Do we have it in our calendar? No. Red letter day is an important day to remember. A day which we cannot forget. For instance, the death of Gandhiji is a red letter day. Now, these are some idioms which I have used in the story. There are some other idioms which I have not explained. For instance, a lion's share, out of the blue, short fuse. These are some of the idioms which I have not explained. Now it's your turn to go and find out the meaning of those idioms and then make them a part of your daily vocabulary. I wish you all the best for doing so. Idioms are a lot of fun to play with. So use idioms and make your language stylish. Wish you a blissful day. மிகப்பெரிய பொய் அதுதான் உலகத்தில் யாருமே கிடையாது கிடையாதுப்பா அது ஒரு ஸ்கில் யாரோ சொல்றாங்கிறதுக்காக ஸ்போக்கன் இங்கிலீஷ் எடுத்திருந்தா யூ வில் நாட் பி சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் என்ன ஸ்ட்ரீட்னா என்ன நைட்டுக்கு நீங்க இங்கிலீஷ்ல நல்லா பிரனவுன்ஸ் பண்ணணும்னா முதல்ல தமிழ நல்லா பிரனவுன்ஸ் பண்ணணும் வெதர் யூ அக்செப்ட் இட் ஆர் நாட் நீ இங்கிலீஷ நல்லா பிரனவுன்ஸ் பண்ணணும்னா தமிழ நல்லா பிரனவுன்ஸ் பண்ணணும் பிரனன்சியேஷன் அப்படின்றது ஒரு பாடமே கிடையாது ஏன் அப்படின்றது தான் த பாயிண்ட் டு பி நோட்டட் அதுக்கு மேல ஏன் கவனிக்க மாட்டாங்க இல்ல அவங்கள நான் கவனிக்க வைக்கணும்னா என்ன செய்யணும் என்ன சாம் செய்யணும் ஸ்டோரி சொல்லணுமா அதான் ஸ்டோரி டெல்லிங்கா கிடையாது நோ தட்ஸ் ராங் அதுக்காக ஸ்டோரி டெல்லிங் கிடையாது சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு அவர் சேனல் ஃபார் ஃபன் ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் லெசன்ஸ் ஆன் இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் டிப்ஸ் ஃபார் பப்ளிக் ஸ்பீக்கிங்